can we convert them into energy by... Okay, we are going to discuss for the binomial theorem. So this will be the continuation of our discussion. Ayan. Okay, what you should learn. So, discussing the binomial theorem, you're going to to calculate the binomial coefficient. And then after that, so you're going to know how to write the binomial expansion. And then for the using the Pascal triangles, you're going to calculate the binomial coefficient. Using the binomial coefficient, coefficients, we're going to discuss the binomial as a polynomial that has a two terms. The, all we know that pag sinabing binomial, dalawa. Pag sinabing trinomial, tatlo. Pag sinabing mono, alam natin only one. So more than three is a polynomial. And then we are using this uh, formula it will provide a quick method raising a binomial to a power. So remember that we had uh, we have to look at the expansion of quantity of x plus y raised to n. So and these are the several values of n: raised to zero, raised to one, raised to two, raised to three, raised to four. So raising x plus y raised to zero, that any number that raising to zero is equal to one, diba? And then x plus y raised to 1 is x plus y. And then quantity of x plus y raised to squared that is equal to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And then x plus y raised to cube is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed. And the other one is quantity of x plus y raised to the fourth is equal to x to the fourth plus 4x cubed y plus 6x squared y squared and then plus 4x y cubed plus y squared. Sir, ang sakit sa ulo. <laughs> o, di ba? Karamihan. Yun na maiisip nyo. O nga, ano? So, paano nga bang gawin yan? So, i-recall natin. I know na kasi, I think, yung algebra nyo is grade 9 yata yung tinuro o grade 8. So, ito yun. Pag sinabi x plus y raised squared, if sabihin, you're going to multiply it by itself. So, x plus y multiplied by x plus y. So, paano yan? So, ganito yan, di ba? So, x plus y multiplied by x plus y. So, pag may multiply mo x times x is equal to x squared. And then, after that, x times y is xy. And then, multiply y times x is positive xy. And then, y times y is positive y squared. Pag in na natin yan, so x squared, bring down x squared kasi nga wala naman siyang ka-add. So we have x squared plus xy by, plus xy. So we have positive 2xy. And this one is y squared. So x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So diba? x times x is x squared x times y, yun yun. Tapos y times x, ito yun. So, 2xy plus y squared, y times y. Diba? So, dyan ang galing yan. And then, so we have the sum of powers of each term is 5. So, sabi dyan 5. For instance, in the expansion of quantity of x plus y raised to the fifth power. So, ibig sabihin, we have to look for the power of each term, which is 5. So, check natin, ha? So, sabi dyan, x plus y raised to the p power is equal to x5 plus 5 x to the fourth y plus 10 x cubed y squared plus 10 x squared y squared cubed plus 5 x y to the fourth plus y to the p. Pag chinek may mga exponent nila, dapat 5. So, ito, 5, 4 plus 1 is 5, and then 3 plus 2 is 5. 2 plus 3 is 5, 1 plus 4 is 5, and then this is 5, di ba? So, na-check natin lahat yan ay exponent is 5. Kasi check mo ha, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, di ba, na-check natin, di ba? So, ganun lang siya. 
and then so to check for the coefficient increases increase and then decrease in a symmetric pattern so the coefficient of a binomial expansion are called binomial coefficients yan yun so pag chinek natin yung binomial theorem di ba yung expansion niya ito x plus y raised to n yung n yan depende sa exponent natin so kunyari ito ay 9 9 9 minus 1, 9 minus 2, 9 minus 3, 9, hanggang naging so on and so forth. Pagka 9 to, 9 din dapat to. So, 9 minus 1, 9 minus 2, and then dire-diretso siya. So, ganun siya. And then, for the coefficient of n minus r, y, r is, eh, yan, n, c, r, is equal to n factorial over n, quantity of n minus r factorial multiplied by r factorial. So, where the symbol is, yan, is often used in the place of NCR to the not binomial coefficient. So, yan yan. So, nare-recall nyo ito na ito yung ating uh, ginagamit for the combination formula. Ayan. So, HC2. Ayan, di ba? Your N is 8. Your R is 2. So, check natin. So, di ba? N factoria over 6 factoria over 2 factoria. Sir, saan nang galing ang 6? O, di ba? Remember? 8 minus 2 is 6 factorial. Diyan siya nang galing. O, oh, di ba? Pag ginect natin yan, o, di ba? 8 times 7 multiplied by 6 factorial over 6 factorial. Cancel siya. So, natira 8 times 7 over 2 times 1. Ayan. So, we have 8 factorial. So, magiging is 56 over 2. That is 28. Di ba? So, yun yun. So, pag chinect na natin to, ito naman. So, any question doon? I hope na naintindihan natin, ha? Kasi nire-recall lang natin yung ginamit na sa combination formula. What is 1? 10 over 3. So, 10 is n. R is 3. So, 10 factorial over 7 factorial multiplied by 3 factorial. So, well, 7 is 10 minus 3. That is 7 factorial, di ba? So, we have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial over 7 factorial multiplied by 3 factorial. So, cancel out natin yung 7 factorial. Ayan. So, natin, so the answer is 120. Diba? So, ganun lang siya. O, next. Pag-chinag natin yun. O, ayan. Ako, pag, ayan, pag nakita mo ganyan kagad, 7 and 0, 1 na kagad yan. <laughs> Bakit? So, ganito. Bakit ito na Di ba? 7 factorial by 7 factorial is 1. Pero 0 factorial is always 1. So, 1 yan. O, di ba? So, nagkakaintindihan tayo doon, ha? Paano naman doon binomial expansion? So, using the binomial expansion, yan. You expand, di ba? Or write the expansion of the expression of quantity of x plus 1 raised cube. Yan. So, solution. Ayan. So, di ba? Ibig sabihin, x plus 1 times x plus 1 plus x plus 1. So, ito yung 3c0, c0, 3c1, 3c2, and then 3c3. Tapos, eh, ayan, makita natin, di ba? Ayan. O, pag chinect natin yan yung kan, di ba? Pag 3c0, c0, alam natin kagad 1 yan, di ba? Kasi magkakansi yan, di ba? So, next, ayan. 3C1 is 3 factorial over 1 factorial. Uh, 3 minus 1 factorial. So, 3 factorial over 1 factorial. 2 factorial. So, pag chinect natin yan, we have 3. The other one is 3 factorial over 2 factorial. 3 minus 2 factorial. So, chinect natin yan. 3, 2, 1. 2, 1, 1. That is 3. And 3 factorial over 3 factorial, 3 minus 3 factorial equals 3 factorial over 3 factorial, 0 factorial. So, 1. So, check natin yan. Ha? This is 1, 3, and 3. And this is 1. Diba? O, pag-chinect natin yan. Diba? Ayan. O, balikan natin. Diba? Ito yung formula. The x plus 3y is equal x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed. Diba? So, diba? 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. O, yan. Yung 1 ayon, yung 3 ayon, yung 3 ayon. 
yung 1 yun. O, substitute na natin, ha? Well, your x is x, your y is 1. Di ba? Substitute na natin yan. Ayan, o. 1, 3, 3, 1. X, 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 n, y, y, y. 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. O, check natin, ha? So, the final answer is x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. Yan, yan, o. 3 cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. So, this will be your answer regarding sa x plus 1. This one is your answer. Any question? Nakaintindihan na tayo dito? Okay, uh, so, meron kayong... Eh, paano naman, sir, pala ito? Yan. Sometimes, you will need to find a specific term in terms of binomial expansion. So, instead of writing out the entire expansion, na, which is napakahaba, so, we can use the R, R plus 1 term. So, yun yun. Yung NCR is multiplied by X raised to N minus R and then Y raised to R. So, ayan. But first, before I discuss that, eh, kailangan nyo muna mag-recitation. Okay. So, itong recitation na to, uh, I'll give you 30 minutes para gawin. And then, after nun, i-upload sa Google Classroom natin, ha? So, alam nyo naman kung anong kanyo. So, you have to look for the recitation one. And then, i-upload nyo yung gawa nyo, and then, ipipicturan nyo. So, you have to look for the expansion of expression quantity A plus B risk Q. So, doon yung i-upload dyan. So, nagkakindidan tayo? Okay. So, let's continue the discussion regarding this art term. Ayan. So, we are looking for the uh, sixth term of the quantity of A plus 2B raised to 8. So, so pag nakita mo dyan, ayan, remember, R plus 1. Pag sinabing R plus 1, term. Eh, remember, we're looking for the sixth term. So, 5 plus 1 is sixth term. ba? Kaya nang yung R natin is 5. Yung 8 natin is N. And then, yung X natin is A. Yung Y natin is 2B. Tatandaan nyo ha, we have a 7th term to. So, 6 plus 1, pag 8th term to, 7 plus 1, pag 9th term, 9 plus 1. So, yun ang tatandaan nyo lang dyan. So, yan o. R is equal to 5. N is equal to 8 x is equal to a, and then y is equal to 2b. Diba? So, yun ang tatandaan nyo dyan. Okay. So, sa teaching ng formula, the sixth term is, our sixth term is n, c, r, x, n minus r, multiplied by y raised to r, is equal to 8, c, 5, 8, a raised to 8 minus 5, what if 2b multiplied by 5? So, 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 and then after that, and then go on. So you have to look for the 8C5. So we're solving for the 8C5 using the combination. So we have the 8 factorial over the 5 factorial quantity of 8 minus 5 factorial. So remember, 8 minus 5 is 3 factorial. So we have 8 factorial over 5 factorial. So multiply this 3 factorial. So looking for that, so. Using this factorial factor, you're going to have the value of 56. So, we have 56, and then 56 multiplied by a cube. Sir, so saan nga yung cube? We have 8 minus 5, that is cube. And then, 2 to the fifth power, and then b to the fifth power. So, 2 to the fifth power is 77. 2 times 2, times 2, times 2, and then times 2. So, we have 56 times to the fifth power a cube b cube. Okay, remember, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, and then times 2 is 32. So we have 36. And then solving for that, we have 1,792 and then a cube b to the fifth power. So yung makikcheck mo. So yun, ito yung ka natin, di ba? I hope na naintindihan yung ginawa natin. So, you're, if you're looking towards 6th term, your 6th term is 1,792 a cube b to the 5th power. So, yun yung ating 6th term. And then, Pascal Triangle. Okay. Paano naman yung Pascal Triangle? So, mas madali yan sa Pascal Triangle, di ba? 
Kasi kung minsan nakakalimutan, mas madali kasi pagka ginamit natin yung Pascal Triangles, which is nanggani kay uh, famous French mathematician Blaise Pascal, which is nilipan natin, di ba? So, ito yan. So, paano natin kukunin yung A plus B to the 4, di ba? So, for example, yan, 1. So, meron tayong dalawang daan. Yan. O, ilan ang daan dito? Isa. Sa kabila, isa rin. Sa kabila, ilan daan dito? Isa. Yan. Isa ang daan natin dito, di ba? Dito. Isa. Dalawa. Itas ito. Isa uli. Di ba? O, next. Maglagay ulit tayo ng mga daan. Ayan. Pag dinaretso mo yan, isa. Pag ito, isa, dalawa, tatlo. One, two, three. Tapos ito, isa. So, dagdag tayo ulit. Manggan. Ayan. Dagdag tayo ulit. Dagdag. Dagdag. O, check natin ha. Isa. Isa. Bakit siya naging apat? Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. O, kabila naman. Anim daw. Bakit naging anim? Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima. Asan yung isa? Check natin ulit. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, Apat, lima, anim. Ayun. Kasi 3 plus 3 is 6. Diba? O yan lang dyan na nang galing. Diba? 1 plus 3 is 4. 3 plus 1. So, 4 din to. Check natin. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the other one is 1. So, nakita natin. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So, check na natin. Ha? So, yan yung first. Zero turn. First term. Second row, third row, fourth row. Ayan. Ayan, di ba? So, one, four, six, four, one. Ayan yan, di ba? So, remember, this is four. So, eight to the fourth, eight to the third, eight to the second, eight to, eight to zero. Everybody remember, raised to zero is one. Di ba? O, B naman. B to the fourth, B to the 3, B to the second, B to the 0. Oh, this is plus, 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 plus. Oh, diba? Oh, ito write natin yung final answer. Kasi, A to the 4th is 1, plus 4A cube B, plus 6A squared B squared, plus 4AB cube, plus B to the 4th. So, this will be your value for the 4th fourth, uh, fourth power of the Pascal Triangles. Applicable to sa lahat. Ha? Actually, uh, pag na-check mo yan, kaya kailangan, alam mo yung formula. Kahit na hindi mo siya masyadong kabisado, basta you know how to solve the Pascal Triangle or use the Pascal Triangles, magagamit mo siya. Kahit na hindi mo siya i-memorize. Hindi mo siya i-memorize. Kaya intindihin mo kung paano siya ginagawa. Mas maganda yun. Kasi, you know how to use the Pascal Triangles. Kasi, pag naintindihan mo to, ay, napakadali. Diba? Basta, you have to include the sign and the square. So, nagkakaintindihan tayo. So, ulitin natin ha. Ang importante, yung ating mga pinag-aralan. So, sa binomial theorem. So, I hope na yung ating mga pinag-aralan ay huwag nyo kakalimutan. So, itong pinagawa kong uh, expo, uh, kuan, uh, kuan sa inyo ay kailangan sa kutinyo. Ito, yan. At ipapas yan sa sa kuan, sa sa kuan mismo. Ipapas natin. Di ba? Kailangan ipas yan. Para at least makuha nyo sa kuan mismo. Okay. So, pag tapos paki-upload dun sa group chat natin, ha? Ay, no, no. Sa group chat, sa ating Google Classroom. So, that ma-check ko yung mga gawa nyo. I hope na nainihan nyo. And then, guys, uh, para at least any questions dun sa kanya nyo is i-discuss ulit natin. Mga tanong nyo. Okay. Maraming salamat.